what I had to do is this coil. It's actually way more impacted than I thought, so I had to cut it out. And now we're going to use the coil gun. And we're going to squirt this thing out and see how much crap I get out of it. Oh, let me get that started. I can't use the camera and the coil gun at the same time because I'm not talented enough. So, let me see how much crap I get out of here. That's what we're starting to get out of it. No. Nasty. Alright, we got it all cleaned up. Now you can see through it. So, let's get it reinstalled and go from there. See what kind of airflow I can get out of it now. Well, um, with that coil, we've had problems with this coil over quite a few years with furnace overheating and uh, numerous problems with this furnace. Um, but we had one technician here cleaning everything out as best he could while I was in there. I tried to clean it out the best I could while I was in there and I still couldn't get it clean so that's when I had to drag that coil out of there, cut it out um, and hit it with condenser coil cleaner. If I didn't do that it wouldn't have worked. When the thing was sitting in there before I did it, the thing I couldn't get no return air through it. I could barely even get supply air through it. So, <clears throat> once I got everything back together, I couldn't really get video of it because I had the customer hanging over my shoulder. Uh, but once I got everything back together in there, I adjusted the charge right because the charge was off because, um, you know, I wasn't getting proper airflow through it. So, once I got everything back in, charged back up, I was doing okay. But, yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Sorry I haven't produced uh, too many videos, but I've been kind of busy. So, that's it for this one, guys. Like and subscribe. Thanks.